People across the United Kingdom and around the world are mourning the death of Queen Elizabeth II, who reigned for 70 years. Her son Charles is now the king, a role that he has spent much of his life preparing for. CBS 13's Tina Kraus has the latest from Windsor, England. King Charles III paid tribute to his mother, Queen Elizabeth, in his first address as monarch. Throughout her life, Her Majesty the Queen, my beloved mother, was an inspiration, an example to me and to all my family. The king promised to serve his nation faithfully. I shall endeavor to serve you with loyalty, respect, and love. Earlier, he arrived at Buckingham Palace to a sea of well-wishers. Queen Elizabeth II was 96 years old when she died yesterday at Balmoral Castle, her summer home in Scotland. Across the UK, gun salutes were fired Friday to honor Britain's longest reigning monarch. While the Queen remains in Scotland, many are coming here to her primary residence, Windsor Castle, to pay their respects. They are leaving flowers, notes, and looking back very fondly on their Queen. We knew this day would come, but I think it's just hit everybody as a nation like a bolt of lightning, really. We feel as though we've lost our own grandmother. Funeral details have not yet been announced. It is known there will be a public viewing in Scotland before the Queen is flown to London. She will lie in state in Westminster Hall for four days, where hundreds of thousands of people are expected to file past her closed casket. A procession will escort her body to Westminster Abbey nearby for the funeral. The coronation of King Charles III is not expected for several months. Well, from world leaders to rock stars to the sporting world, tributes to Queen Elizabeth II are pouring in from around the globe. CBS 13's Natalie Brand has more details on that from Washington. From Australia, where the Queen's image was projected on the famed Sydney Opera House, to New York's Empire State Building, lit up in sparkling purple lights, to the Eiffel Tower in Paris, which went dark Thursday night, the world is honoring Britain's longest reigning monarch. In San Francisco and Washington, D.C., church bells rang 96 times to mark her years. Her countless admirers are reflecting on her legacy. Everybody loves her because of her love and affections for the human being. Flags at the White House have been lowered to half-staff. President Biden describing Queen Elizabeth II as a stateswoman of unmatched dignity who dedicated her life to service. The president and first lady stopped by the British embassy in Washington Thursday evening to sign a book of condolences. I had the opportunity to meet her before she passed, and she was an incredibly gracious and decent woman. And the thoughts and prayers of the American people are with the people of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth in their grief. Tributes also came from celebrities, James well, Corden well, noting she's well, the well, only well, queen well, most have ever known. We viewed her as a mortal, an essential part of the fabric of our world. Join me in a round of applause for 70 years of service. British musician Harry Styles marched the Queen's passing with fans at his Madison Square Garden concert. And soccer stadiums in England will be empty as the Premier League announced it's postponing matches this weekend in honor of the Queen. Well, President Biden said he would probably attend the Queen's funeral, although those details are still being worked out.